large numbers of zombies converged on Zhang Yi's shelter. Zombies pour out of the fourth life pod at West Mountain Base, moving shakily towards the southeast as if summoned. At that time, in the shelter, Yang Xinxin had a computer on her lap, slowly updating Zhang Yi on the recent situations of several powers. Zhang Yi wasn't too surprised by these developments, but he couldn't understand why the Snow Worship sect was so eager to grow its followers. Did they not need to provide for their survival? In this snowy apocalypse, ordinary people hardly make useful soldiers or laborers and are likely to be a burden. Could Yuan Kongye really want to be a savior in the apocalypse? Then, Yang Xinxin calmly explained, it might be a different situation. We are in an apocalypse, and the world's order is facing a reshuffle. This is when some powerful individuals start to show their ambitions. They started by slowly growing through religious faith, allowing them to quickly become the dominant force in Heavenly Sea City without spending a single soldier. Once they grow to a certain extent, they might even infiltrate the three major bases. Some of us could be assimilated. Finally, Yang Xinxin concluded, all this has one reason. The Snow Worship sect wants to rebuild faith in this chaotic world and make their leader the god of this world. Hearing this, Zhang Yi couldn't help but laugh. He scoffed, that idea is just too naive and ridiculous. Yang Xinxin, with a serious face, told Zhang Yi, don't think it's just a joke. When it comes to life and death, even highly educated and cognizant people might end up kneeling. Zhang Yi gave a slight smile. You make some sense, but times have changed. Even if you have many followers willing to die for you, they stand no chance against modern armed forces. Just relying on numbers to rule the world is nothing but a fantasy. Yang Xinxin looked at Zhang Yi and said, what if their leader could awaken people's special abilities? Don't forget, Yuan Kongye's ability is to bless. Zhang Yi's eyebrows slightly furrowed. The awakening of special abilities is originally a matter of probability. Indeed, having more people can increase the number of mutants, but mutants are just slightly stronger humans. I've seen many mutants, and so far, very few can truly threaten me. There's no need to mythologize them excessively. But then, Yang Xinxin looked at him with adoration and said, the reason you feel this way is because you, big brother, are already so powerful. Zhang Yi knew in his heart that he had devoured many powerful mutants, including Ling Feng, the top fighter from West Mountain Base. He didn't have a clear concept of how strong he was at this point, but he understood that there's always someone stronger. Thinking this, Zhang Yi murmured with a determined look, this snow worship set indeed needs more attention. While they were talking, a rustling sound from outside caught Zhang Yi's attention. Peering through, he saw thousands of figures appearing in the snowstorm, slowly approaching the shelter. Zhang Yi was stunned, thinking he was seeing things. After all, how could so many people appear at once in such a cold external environment, even more than the soldiers gathered here during the last battle of the five armies? Zhang Yi quickly got up and activated the voice control system, immediately notifying everyone to gear up and prepare for battle. As he spoke, Zhang Yi took out his pistol, eyes fixed on the outside. Yang Xinxin maneuvered her wheelchair to the window and was stunned by the scene. How could there be so many people? Could it be that the other powers have regrouped and are attacking again? After Zhang Yi instructed everyone to prepare for battle, Uncle Yu was the first to arrive in the living room. Zhang Yi picked up a telescope and saw the vaguely discernible zombies outside, which sent a chill down his spine. Due to the extreme cold, the zombies were just covered in blue and purple bruises, without obvious signs of decay. Zhang Yi couldn't help but murmur, it has really turned into a zombie outbreak. Everyone was shocked to hear this. Then, Liang Yu stepped forward, took the telescope, and said, these things couldn't all have crawled out of West Mountain Base, could they? Zhang Yi puzzled, how do you know that? Liang Yu pointed and explained to Zhang Yi, look at the zombie horde, don't some of them still wear the combat uniforms of West Mountain Base? These must be soldiers from West Mountain Base, and the other thousands of bodies should be civilians from the fourth life pod. Zhang Yi was still confused, under such extreme cold temperatures, how can these bodies not be frozen stiff and still walk like humans? At this point, Yang Xinxin calmly explained, these bodies might be infected with some special virus, they are now just the shells for those parasitic viruses. Zhang Yi accepted this explanation, but regardless of what they are, the first order of business is to go out and clear them. Saying this, Zhang Yi took out a submachine gun and said, remember, when shooting zombies, you have to aim for the head to be effective. At this moment, Liu Karen couldn't help but ask Zhang Yi for a gun to show what she could do. Zhang Yi thought for a moment and handed her a rifle, saying, be careful when firing, make sure not to hurt our own people. Immediately, Liu Karen changed into combat gear and followed the others out of the shelter. As for Flower, Zhang Yi didn't let it come out, mainly because he was afraid it would eat something indiscriminately. Uncle Yu, without a word, grabbed an engineer's shovel and charged forward. Zhang Yi shouted, just fire from a distance. Uncle Yu laughed loudly a few times. No need to waste bullets. Seeing this, Liang Yu also drew his long sword and charged forward. Liu Karen, excited, said to Chun Lei, Brother Chun Lei, how about we compete to see who kills more zombies? Chun Lei chuckled, you're definitely going to lose. Saying this, he and Zhang Yi began to fire fiercely at the horde of zombies. But soon, Zhang Yi noticed something was off. Zombies that were clearly shot in the forehead were getting back up. Could it be that they're too frozen, so the bullets didn't penetrate? 
feet. Xiang Yu wondered. Seeing this, Uncle Yu and Liang Yu rushed over and jointly dealt the finishing blow. At the moment this zombie was killed, all the zombies seemed activated, suddenly emitting chilling howls, the sounds akin to wild dogs tearing at rotten flesh. The originally sluggish zombies suddenly moved as fast as hounds, swiftly surrounding Uncle Yu and Liang Yu. The two were surrounded before they could react, with every zombie hungrily opening its mouth and charging at them. These zombies, frozen stiff, made close quarters combat inefficient. Even though he and Liang Yu were both enhanced mutants, the zombies, even when chopped into pieces, still struggled towards them, causing their scalps to tingle. Continuing this way, once they exhausted all their strength, they would inevitably be bitten to death. Originally thought to be as slow as mud and fragile zombies, who knew they could suddenly become so fierce and seemingly difficult to kill completely. A portion of the massive horde of zombies split off and lunged at Zhang Yi and the others. Since they could not kill them all, Zhang Yi simply opened his special dimension and sucked in all the incoming zombies. Chun Lei and Liu Karen finally breathed a sigh of relief, but before they could celebrate for a few seconds, the brainless zombies that rushed into the special dimension suddenly seemed to gain the ability to think and voluntarily stopped. This made Zhang Yi instantly feel that something was unusual. Normally, zombies are just mutated corpses and shouldn't have any intelligence, but these creatures could sense danger and stop, which was completely illogical. At this moment, a thought flashed through Zhang Yi's mind. Could these zombies be remotely controlled by someone? Could it be that someone has awakened an ability to control zombies? This possibility is indeed significant. Nowadays, the manifestations of special abilities are extremely varied, and if such a type of ability truly exists, then all this would make sense. Thinking of this, Zhang Yi suddenly realized, if that's the case, wouldn't this crisis be resolved by just killing the controller among the zombie horde? But with thousands of densely packed zombies in front of him, finding the controller accurately is like finding a needle in a haystack. Therefore, Zhang Yi decided to use a brute force approach. He waved his right hand, and suddenly a huge tank appeared on the snowy ground. As Zhang Yi climbed into the tank, he shouted, Listen to my command, I'll count to three, and you jump with all your might. Uncle Yu and Liang Yu immediately understood what Zhang Yi intended to do. With their powerful leap, a loud boom resonated as a shell exploded among the zombie horde, sending limbs and parts flying everywhere. After landing, Uncle Yu and Liang Yu quickly retreated towards the shelter, but the horde of zombies relentlessly pursued them. Seeing that the effect was insufficient, Zhang Yi leaped down from the tank. The moment he landed, he pulled out a specially made flamethrower from his special dimension and aimed it at the zombie horde. Following that, a fire dragon over 10 meters long was unleashed, instantly igniting the zombies' clothes, turning the horde into a sea of flames. Zhang Yi had been worried that the burning zombies might charge at him, but the outcome left him dumbfounded. Thousands of zombies simultaneously turned their heads and fled in the opposite direction of the shelter. This scene was beyond belief. He had never heard of zombies tactically retreating before. It is now certain that these creatures are definitely being controlled by someone. When they realized they couldn't defeat Zhang Yi, they chose to flee to preserve their strength. What would happen if zombies possessed intelligence? Not only could they coordinate with each other, but they could also retreat when overwhelmed. This scene left Zhang Yi and the others utterly astonished. By now, Zhang Yi was almost certain that someone was secretly controlling these bodies. Liang Yu also said, how powerful must a special ability be to control so many zombies at once? If someone had such a strong power, shouldn't they have already dominated Heavenly Sea City? After all, bodies are the one thing not lacking outside now. Zhang Yi couldn't help but look at the charred bodies on the ground, some of which were still twitching. Just like severed earthworms, they seemed impossible to kill completely. Thinking of facing more of these creatures in the future, Zhang Yi felt a headache coming on. This is just too eerie. If we don't figure out what's going on with these things, Heavenly Sea City might never have peace. While speaking, Zhang Yi reached out to try to absorb the zombie fragments into his special dimension, and the process of actively absorbing them went smoothly. This also means that they indeed do not possess biological characteristics, but how they move in such a way is beyond comprehension. Anyway, it seems that these creatures can be burned to death. Saying this, Zhang Yi handed the flamethrower to Chun Lei and said, Fatty, burn these things clean. After returning to the shelter, Zhou Kier and Yang Mi were almost scared out of their wits. Yang Mi, holding her chest, said, Can the dead bodies still come at us and bite? Could there really be ghosts? Beside her, Zhou Hai Mei comforted, It's better to believe in such things and maintain respect. As a veteran actress who has struggled in the entertainment industry for many years, she has always firmly believed in these phenomena. She always felt that many things cannot be clearly explained by science, but do indeed exist. Zhang Yi did not speak, but sat on the sofa, pondering the zombies from West Mountain Base. The day the three of them entered the base to scavenge for supplies, they actually felt something unusual around them. At the time, they thought it was just psychological and didn't pay much attention, so they sealed the entrance when they left, partly to feel at ease. Moreover, with soldiers disappearing into the subway station in recent days, all signs indicated that someone was behind this. These zombies not only knew to actively avoid my dimensional gate but also knew to flee when they couldn't win, clearly 
showing the behavior of intelligent beings. Thus, there must be a mutant who can control bodies lurking in the shadows targeting us. Everyone agreed on this. At this point, Joe Kier raised the question, what's their reason for attacking us then? We haven't offended them. It can't be Radiant Prosperity and Morning Dew. If they had this kind of capability, they would have used it long ago. Why wait until now? Zhang Yi shook his head and said, for now, let's just wait and see. Anyway, those zombies can't possibly breach the shelter. Then, Zhang Yi turned to Yang Xinxin and said, Xinxin, check if there have been similar incidents elsewhere recently, to see if this is just targeting us, or if it's a widespread issue in Heavenly Sea City. He also instructed Uncle Yu and Liang Yu, you two go check your bodies to see if there are any scratches or bites, in case it really is something like a virus. We need to stay vigilant at all times. After speaking, everyone quietly maintained a certain distance from Uncle Yu and Liang Yu, who were somewhat at a loss for words. Then, Zhang Yi called over Zhou Kier, intending for her to study the zombies. He was more concerned about something like a virus. If it really is the so-called zombie virus, this could potentially evolve into a disaster that covers all of Heavenly Sea City, and even spread nationwide or globally. Zhang Yi said with an increasingly serious expression, I need to first confirm whether this thing is caused by a virus or is being controlled by a mutant with special abilities. If it truly is some unknown virus, it could be a catastrophe for the surviving humans. But if it's controlled by someone with abilities, that means there's an unknown and very powerful force still existing in Heavenly Sea City. Zhou Kier said with a worried face, hey, their outcome sounds pretty terrifying. Zhang Yi comforted, there's no need to worry too much. We don't care about what happens in the outside world. We just need to protect ourselves. As long as the shelter can remain safe, we can continue to live well. Zhang Yi walked to the safe opened his special dimension, and took out a zombie's limb. The severed arm's fingers were still twitching. Even the well-traveled Zhou Kier was stunned. She couldn't help but say, this is simply a medical miracle. Saying this, Zhou Kier put on gloves and began studying the limb. Zhang Yi cautioned, it's still best to take precautions. After all, we don't know how infectious it is. Zhou Kier smiled lightly, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Saying that, she skillfully picked up a piece of flesh with tweezers and said, brother Zhang Yi, you can leave now. I need some time to analyze this slowly. Zhang Yi was not in a hurry. We still have plenty of time, and at this level, we can still handle it easily. Shou Kier also remarked, it's good that our armed forces are strong enough. If this happened among other forces, especially organizations like the Snow Worship Sect, the outcome could be catastrophic. Indeed, that was the case. The Radiant Prosperity Base also suffered a massive zombie attack. The soldiers were initially in disarray, but fortunately, Xiao Holian's fire-based special ability naturally countered them. She leaped onto a high tower, and using high-purity alcohol she had drunk, she precisely spewed out a fire dragon at the zombies, burning them instantly into charred remains like an insecticide. Her subordinates kept bringing her large amounts of alcohol, and Xiao Honglian had to keep pouring it into her mouth non-stop. It was almost entirely due to her efforts that, after burning countless zombies, they finally managed to fend off this terrifying attack. Xiao Honglian jumped down from the tower, looking at her painstakingly managed oil refinery in ruins. She angrily said to her subordinates, hurry up and check out what these things are and who is behind them. At the Morning Dew base, they even deployed military vessels stationed in the deep sea area, using their main guns to counterattack the horde of zombies. Fortunately, the firepower was still fierce, and there were also a significant number of powerful mutants barely holding off the assault. Wei Dinghai frowned and said, where do these things come from? Are they monsters cultivated by other forces, or perhaps a previously undiscovered underground force? Meanwhile, at the Snow Worship Sect headquarters, a group of followers were eating fruit around a bonfire. At that moment, nobody noticed a large group of figures slowly approaching the Snow Worship Sect from the dark the guard soldiers thought they were devotees coming to join, but as they got closer, they realized a large number of zombies were heading towards the snow worship sect. The soldiers' shouts suddenly pierced the night sky. Monsters, monsters. The zombies also violently rushed into their camp, crazily biting, and the snow worship sect soldiers hurriedly organized a counterattack. But the zombies feared no weapons. Even when shot full of holes, they still crazily pounced to bite the living. The camp was suddenly filled with cries of despair, and with the rapid expansion of the snow worship sect, the number of followers had grown to tens of thousands. With such a high population density, they had no space to escape. Desperate cries continually echoed through the camp. Scenes of zombies tearing flesh and the sound of gnawing bones were everywhere. The sight was like a living hell. The surviving followers could only run towards the church, with the zombies in relentless pursuit, about to rush into the church. Suddenly, the church doors burst open from the inside, and dozens of zombies at the entrance were blown away several meters. At that moment, the high priest, along with several senior members of the snow worship sect, walked out of the church, furious at the carnage before them. Jing Yixian immediately organized a counterattack, commanding several mutants to guard the church and protect the leader and the followers inside, while all other mutants were to fight their way out. With the involvement of powerful mutants, the battle situation finally began to turn around. The beast-human hybrid ability user, Han Chang, activated his beast transformation
transformation state and in an instant a dozen cold glimmers flashed, swiftly decapitating dozens of zombie heads which fell to the ground. Unexpectedly, the decapitated zombies still lunged at him, and Han Chan was shocked. They didn't die even like this. He continued swinging his claws with disgust, saying, then I'll just have to completely disable you. With several more flashes of cold light, dozens of zombies were instantly chopped into pieces. Han Chang said with revulsion, what are these things? They can still move even in pieces. The defense battle was exceptionally tough, with an overwhelming number of zombies. The mutants were only focused on plunging into the zombie crowd to kill frenziedly, hardly having time to protect the other ordinary followers. The battle lasted for two hours, and the ground was piled high with bodies, indistinguishable whether they were zombies or followers. Jing Yixian came over to tell Han Chang, let's have everyone move the bodies into that abandoned building. Also, check for any injuries. These zombies are too bizarre. I fear it might be some kind of biochemical virus. Everyone involved in the fight must be quarantined and observed for a while, and we also need to step up patrols and guard against more zombie attacks. Han Chang also told Jing Yixian, these things are unusual. These aren't the brainless zombies from the movies. Not only are they hard to kill, but they also know how to retreat. If this is the work of other forces, I must go and fight them. Now that the Snow Worship sect has greatly increased its strength, it no longer fears any base organization. Jing Yixian hurriedly advised, don't be impulsive. The most important thing now is to protect the followers. We definitely need to investigate this matter thoroughly. We can't yet be sure if it's related to the other forces. Jing Yixian stood in the center of the square, looking into the distance, and murmured softly, has a new storm arisen? Zhang Yi called Xing Tian at the Emerald Waterside base. Hearing this, Xing Tian was incredibly agitated. No way, we were also attacked by zombies yesterday. It cost us over a hundred workers. These unknown monsters, could it be some kind of biochemical crisis? Hearing that the Emerald Waterside base was also not spared, Zhang Yi breathed a sigh of relief. This meant that the zombie attacks were not solely targeting them. Zhang Yi, frowning, said to his old classmate, these monsters are strange. They don't die even when beheaded. I suspect someone is manipulating them from behind. But our two locations are over a hundred kilometers apart, and we were attacked by zombies at almost the same time. Doesn't this suggest that there's more than one person controlling the zombies? Xing Tian tapped his forehead. He had always just wanted to live peacefully in his own territory. But why were there always so many troubles? Hearing what Zhang Yi said, Xing Tian somewhat defensively yelled out, Are you saying there's an organization in Heavenly Sea City that can control zombies? Wouldn't that organization be invincible? After all, Heavenly Sea City now has at least tens of millions of corpses. If they keep attacking us in turns, we can't afford it. Also, even if your shelter is sturdy, it surely can't withstand so many zombies smashing into it every day. Xing Tian's words indeed make sense. We still don't know who the instigator of the zombies is. Enemy hidden, us exposed. This is the situation Zhang Yi least wants to face. Zhang Yi sighed helplessly and said, Now, we can only leave it to fate. Contact the other groups and see if they've experienced similar attacks. After exchanging information, Zhang Yi fell into deep thought. Sure enough, early the next morning, a large number of zombies attacked again. Zhang Yi didn't hesitate to put on his combat suit and said, Let's get to work. This time, he even brought flour, but he repeatedly warned flour not to bite with her mouth. With the experience from last time, Uncle Yu and Liang Yu did not rush into the horde impulsively. Chun Lei used his ice and snow abilities to restrict the zombies' movements. While Zhang Yi and Uncle Yu attacked the horde with flamethrowers, Liang Yu and Flower were responsible for clearing zombies that tried to get close. With everyone's tacit cooperation, Zhang Yi gradually noticed something. When the zombies were engulfed by Chun Lei's blizzard, they seemed to lose their sense of direction, indicating that there must be a controller among the zombie horde. Shou Kier was also observing the battlefield situation from inside the house. She noted down her observations and murmured, just as I suspected, the virus inside the zombies prefers cold and fears heat. When exposed to high temperatures, it becomes inactive, so using fire is the most effective strategy. With the experience from last time, they quickly killed nearly half of the zombies, and the remaining zombies predictably began to retreat. Seeing this, Zhang Yi felt something was not quite right. A sense of unease slowly emerged in his heart. Chun Lei stepped forward and asked, Boss, what's wrong? Zhang Yi frowned and said, Yesterday we dealt with a large number of zombies, but today there are clearly more. This indicates that the zombie virus is still spreading, and more and more bodies are slowly turning into zombies. If this continues, one day the entire Heavenly Sea City will be filled with zombies. How will we live then? Hearing this, everyone's eyes widened, and a sense of invisible pressure suddenly overwhelmed them. Who is controlling the zombies from behind? What exactly is their scheme? Zhang Yi was already worried that if this trend continues, the entire Heavenly Sea City would soon be overrun by tens of millions of zombies, and then we would no longer be able to move outside. Zhang Yi's words instantly erased the smiles from everyone's faces. Yang Xinqing took a sip of her coffee and said with a worried face, I think it's not necessary to be so pessimistic yet. Things may not develop in that direction. If their goal was really that clear, they wouldn't just send a few thousand zombies each time. Then she shifted the conversation.
conversation. However, if we don't investigate the true nature of these zombies soon, they will definitely become a huge problem for us. Lou Karen also sighed. It's a pity the temperature is so low now. Otherwise those zombies would have rotted into skeletons long ago. Zhang Yi said sternly. Zombies are actually not scary. What we need to worry about is the controller behind them. Those controllers are definitely not brainless monsters. And these zombies are so hard to kill. The only known methods are fire and dismemberment, which puts us in a very passive position. Yang Xinxin immediately understood. So the key is to deal with the controllers behind them first. Otherwise we will never have peace. Zhang Yi smiled and said. That's the theory. But finding the controller is easier said than done. Every time we kill more than half, they immediately flee. I can't even be sure that the controller is among the zombies, as the forms of special abilities are too varied to deduce using common sense. We also can't possibly investigate deep inside the subway. It would be too dangerous. As everyone was discussing fervently, Zhou Kier spoke softly. Actually, I've also made a small discovery. In the last few days while studying the zombie limbs, I indeed found something like a virus. This organism is extremely cold resistant, even surviving at minus 100 degrees. It can invade the host's nervous system to control the body, but it does not belong to the category of viruses in modern biology. Its structure is between a virus and a cell, but its biological characteristics are more similar to a virus. Zhang Yi, confused, said, don't make it so complicated, say something everyone can understand. Zhou Kier, embarrassed, smiled and said, when the Ice Age apocalypse came, influenced by gamma rays, the entire field of biology was redefined. Let's just call it the zombie virus for now. This zombie virus has a colony-like nature. When zombies are within a horde, they connect with each other. They show a certain pattern in their actions, and can even exhibit a degree of intelligence. But the piece I studied was just a limb, and all its characteristics were significantly weakened. However, based on my assessment, this virus is similar to a biological species. They have a common mother body, and the mother can remotely control them. However, the remote control distance shouldn't be too long, just like some animals can communicate through sense. These zombie viruses surely have their own unique way of signal interaction. Hearing this, Zhang Yi had an epiphany and said, According to you, if we find and kill the mother body, these zombies will automatically die, right? Although it's still unclear if killing the mother body would cause the other zombies to die, at least it would make them lose their intelligence. Once they become like headless chickens, they'll be much easier for us to deal with. Zhang Yi's words brightened everyone's mood. Isn't this the mystery that's been troubling me? Zhang Yi continued, I think I understand now. The attacks by the hordes these past few days seemed fierce and intelligent, but upon closer observation, their tactics are actually very simple and childish. Both times, after nearly half of the zombies were killed, they chose to retreat, which feels just like a three-year-old playing a game. Just like a child learning to talk and walk, they are just slowly figuring things out. Everyone felt this made a lot of sense. The horde indeed exhibited some intelligence, but not much. Then Liang Yu spoke, listening to you, I think I understand too. Those zombies may have some intelligence, possibly due to mutations after human death, or the mutant virus took over human bodies. In any case, they have only recently acquired intelligence and are still learning human combat methods. Zhang Yi also felt this was likely the case. Their method of fighting doesn't seem like that of a normal human intelligence, but they are not completely mindless either. If such a thing really exists, it might be called a zombie king. After all, if living organisms can acquire special abilities, then it's not completely impossible for dead ones to do so as well. Zhang Yi spoke in a low tone. If it really is a case of corpses gaining intelligence through mutation, then their attacks will definitely continue. We can also use this opportunity to gather more information. We must not overlook any details to find ways to deal with them. However, our current priority is to clear the nearby hordes of zombies. Otherwise, the hordes will keep coming and harass us, making it hard to ensure there won't be any accidents. Zhang Yi also knew that these zombies are not humans. They do not have a sense of reverence, and they will still come to harass us brainlessly even knowing they can't win. This is undoubtedly like a ticking time bomb. We must solve this problem as soon as possible. At this moment, Liang Yu raised a question. If it really is a case of corpses mutating and gaining intelligence, then how do we explain the zombie hordes at other forces? It surely can't be launching attacks at several major forces at the same time, can it? Yang Xinxin, who had been silent until now, spoke up. It's the subway network. After the apocalypse, no one has ventured into the subway tunnels, which are dozens of meters deep, but it's not hard to know that the temperature underground would be much higher than on the surface. Moreover, our zombies here likely originate from the next channel garden station. Heavenly Sea City has more than a dozen subway lines, and zombies could use them to reach any area. Zhang Yi nodded thoughtfully. It seems that the reason why we face smaller hordes is because we are located in the suburbs, and we only have the next channel garden station here. Then, Zhang Yi said to Yang Xi, 